Today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be talking about tailless whip scorpions. If you like learning facts about animals, then subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on all the new content. The scientific name of a tailless whip scorpion, who are otherwise known as whip spiders, is amblypigid, which means blunt rump. While this is an appropriate description of this animal's rather short rear end, the more common names can be a bit confusing for more than one reason. First of all, tailless whip scorpions are not scorpions, nor are they spiders. Although they do kind of look like some sort of super combination of the two, they are in a group all their own. Secondly, there are other arthropods commonly called whip scorpions and vinegaroons. These look similar to tailless whip scorpions, but as the name may imply, those bugs have a tail and we'll be covering them in a future episode. There are more than 150 identified species of tailless whip scorpions, and they tend to live in tropical and subtropical climates throughout the world. They're nocturnal and take to hiding in dark places during the day, such as under rocks, in rotting logs, and inside caves. At night, they come out to hunt. They hunt by feeling their way along the ground, using their incredibly long, whip-like front legs. This is from where their common name is derived. They'll scuttle in a sideways motion like a crab, using a keen sense of direction to find their way around. When they do stumble across prey, they'll catch it with their pedipalps, or the two spine-covered appendages at the front of their body. While the end of these don't form into pinchers like those of a scorpion, they're still highly effective in holding prey. While the pedipalps hold the prey in place, the tailless whip scorpion will eat the prey using its pincher-like mouth, which is called a chelicerae. Their prey are usually other insects, including crickets, spiders, roaches, millipedes, and even katydids, which is an animal we've discussed in a prior episode. They have flat bodies and eight eyes. As mentioned earlier, the first set of tailless whip scorpion's legs are used for sensing their surroundings and are way longer than the other legs and their body as a whole. While on average their bodies will only be 5 centimeters long, their sensory legs can reach up to 25 centimeters. That's a lot of leg! They're usually neutrally colored, appearing mostly mottled gray, brown, or black, with some sporting yellow bands around their legs. But after they molt or shed their hard exoskeleton, they will appear white and even green in color. They're vulnerable directly after they've molted. In fact, baby tailless whip scorpions will actually ride on their mother's back until at least their second molt in life, and if they fall off mom before then, they'll perish. Something cool about the tailless whip scorpion's molting habits, though, are that they will keep molting throughout their entire lives. Most other arachnids stop once they reach adulthood, but the tailless whip scorpion just keeps right on going, meaning they keep growing throughout their whole lifetime. I'm pretty sure you could make a pretty legit movie about an immortal tailless whip scorpion. Actually, speaking of movies, in the Harry Potter series, during the Goblet of Fire, Professor Moody uses a tailless whip scorpion in a demonstration of the three unforgivable curses. He explains that one bite from the creature is lethal. Seems the professor has his facts backwards, though, because they're actually pretty harmless to humans, not even possessing venom or stingers. Anyway, back to the facts. Females will carry the babies until they're strong enough to be on their own. Though it's been observed in some species that they maintain a bond for some time even after separating by forming into familial groups and stroking each other with their sensory legs. When the young are mature enough to have their own babies, the males will court the females by rubbing them with those long front legs. He'll deposit a sperm sac and gently guide the female over it with his pedipalps, gently being the key word here. When she's ready to lay her upwards of 60 eggs, she'll actually deposit them into an egg sac and carry that with her until they hatch after about three months. At which point you know what happens. Ah, the circle of life. They typically live two to three years. They're pretty quick and able to find hiding places where most enemies would be unable to follow thanks to their flattened bodies, so most probably live to see that age. Though, if they are caught off guard, they'll be eaten by scorpions, spiders, and reptiles. Some people even keep tailless whip scorpions as pets. I'm not sure how Chester would feel about having an arachnid friend. For more information on tailless whip scorpions, be sure to check out the links below. Leave us a comment to let us know which animal you'd like to learn about next. Thank you for watching, and be sure to give a thumbs up for more animal fact files.